We first pointed out the attractiveness of Sasakaya 2019 in July last year. Since then, the market has moved on to the 2020 vintage, and new supply from the estate of the 2019 has dwindled to almost nothing in Europe and the Americas. But an unusual overhang of primary market supply still lingers in Asia. This strange situation means that temporarily, the 2019, despite being much higher scoring, is actually cheaper in Asia than the younger 2020. This anomaly will not last, and patient collectors should jump on this opportunity while the window remains open. The first Super Tuscan legend, Sasakaya, was released in 1968. Since then, many wonderful vintages have been created at this Bulgaria state, but the three highest average scoring vintages are 1985, 2016 and 2019, and of these, 2019 is clearly the most attractive from a price-to-score perspective. Sasakaya 2019 is only 0.1% lower in average score than the 2016, but the 2016 is 53.2% more expensive. And let's not even discuss the 1985, which is still the best ever Sasakaya vintage, but whose price has risen to a stratospheric £19,500 per case of six. Sasakaya 2019 has two 100-point perfect scores from leading critics, one from the hugely influential critic Lisa Perotti Brown, formerly of robertparker.com and now at the Wine Independent, and one from Decanter. Lisa Perotti Brown sums up the view of most critics. The 2019 reminds me a lot of the sublime 2016, but somehow it is bolder with even more energy, vivacity and exuberance. Bizarrely, the Sasakaya 2019 is trading below the inferior 2020 vintage in Asia. This simply should not be the case. The 2019 was released a year earlier than the 2020, in February 2022, and is significantly better scored, 98.4 to 96.7. The reasons behind the 2019 discount are similar to those we discussed recently with Tignanello, 2019. A number of idiosyncratic local factors have caused a slight overallocation in Asia, with the market taking a little time to work through its primary supply. But such anomalies as these never last long, and any collector with a time horizon of one year or more should see this as a golden opportunity to build a discounted position in one of the world's most desirable fine wines. Using our proprietary software, available on crew markets, we calculate a minimum fair value for Sasakaya 2019, which is 20% higher than its current price, based on the best fit fair value regression line. In reality, the 2019 should trade somewhere between the 2015 and 2016 on the price-to-score scatter graph. This would imply a price per case of around 3,150 Singapore dollars, or 18,300 Hong Kong dollars per case, or 41% higher than today. There will be less Sasakaya in the future. The 2019 vintage was already 15% smaller than 2016, but the future reduction was confirmed by Sasakaya's MD and head of winemaking Carlo Paoli with the 2019. Sasakaya used to produce around 280,000 bottles a year. This production is not much more than a large Bordeaux estate like Chateau Lafitte Rothschild, and hence is easily absorbed by the insatiable global demand for the leading Super Tuscan brand. In 2022, Sasakaya was ranked number 30 of all global fine wine brands by LiveX, ahead of several Bordeaux first growths, and above Harlan Estate, Osson, La Fleur and Masetto, all of whom trade at much higher prices. Falling supply, attributed by Paoli to climate change across the Tuscan region, will only serve to only heighten the demand-supply imbalance of this iconic wine in years to come, with obvious implications for back-vintage pricing. Lisa Perotti brown gives Sasakaya 2019 a drinking window of 2024 to 2050. We love to see a wine about to enter its drinking zone, as this increases demand from consumers and on trade at this time. At five years old, which is next year, the consumption curve will start to steepen significantly. But for more patient collectors and speculators, Sasakaya 2019 is a mouth-watering long-term prospect too. There is no question about the longevity of great vintages of Sasakaya. Wine advocates Monica Lana tasted a bottle of the Sasakaya 1968, the first vintage, in 2017 and was blown away by a level of energy and verve that absolutely defies its age. Lana predicted that the 1968 would drink brilliantly until 2026, that means to an age of nearly 60. 
This bodes very well for modern greats like 2016 and 2019, which clearly have a spectacular 50-year-plus life ahead of them. We have seen what happens to the prices of great vintages like 1985, a current price of 32,500 Singapore dollars or 90,000 Hong Kong dollars per case for the 1985 offers a tantalizing glimpse of the future for a modern equivalent like the 2019. Sasakaya 2019 is a wonderful long-term addition to any serious fine wine collection.